I don't need no money with it. Yep. Um, I'm going to do, again, both Venom Cannons into the Basilisk, and then the uh, four shots into that guy. That's a fake fish. Two hits, two wounds. Good. Dead. And then the two Venom Cannons into the Basilisk. Four shots, one hit, uh, one wound. Right. Minus, minus one. Take one. D3. Take one. one. Yep. Now he's to six, so he's at half half efficiency. The chance of never firing again, I said no, but I'm not sure it matters. If I kill them, then I can charge a fiber. Um, and then containment spines over here. Let's do go. He's going to shoot at this unit as well. Not really good targets otherwise. And it's four times. Two's to wound. So three wounds. Don't believe there's a Ren. Nope, no Ren. So and four ups. Two wounds because strength five, I thought it was strength six. So I okay. two wounds. Four ups. Yep. So that is one. Slain equals no saved or feel no pain saved. Yes. No saves versus morale. Just removed. Yep. Yeah, you're just you just lose that many models. So it's really brutal on multi wound units. The monstrous creatures makes it makes them pretty good because obviously they're not gonna yeah they're really into it. Mortal wounds do not ignore feel no pain. So it's feel no pain and things happen after your saves. Yeah. So you don't get involved or anything. But like if it was, um, yeah, a mortal wound, I would get your feel no pain. Um, the other example is for things that do multiple damage. So I fail my save. It does D three damage. So it, say it does two damage. I get two feel no pain rolls, one for each. Domni, um, just so you know, for the bits thing, it's going away because Revlo is going out of business a little bit. But um, next week on the 6th, I'm doing a giveaway stream, and I'll be painting during that one, not playing. Um, and you can use bits to get extra entries. You also, just following gets you an entry. So... If you are curious what those are good for, I haven't set up anything else and I was going to, and then Revlo's going out of business, so I'm going to have to move to a different plot. So I'm not going to bother setting up anything else. So, um, all right. Uh, that's all my shooting, I believe. Just three guys, because he's in combat. So, so that's the end of your turn. Charge face. Yeah. What am I painting? Um, it'll probably be some Dark Eldar uh, Raiders and Ravager still next week. Um, but it might be some Raven Guard, but probably the, the Dark Eldar. All right. So, ding. So, Moloch is charging this Wyvern. Okay, here we go. Overwatch. I love it watching with a weapon. <laughs> so many shots. 10, 18 shots. So eight. Yes. You take morale even if you win combat. Yeah. Yeah, you. If you lost a model. Yeah. Sixes. Two hits and uh, toughness six. Yes. Fives. Three rolling. Two wounds. Yeah. Two wounds. Imagine those wagon gunners, they are good, right? They've got a mortar <laughs> by the end of watch. Yeah. Oh, and heavy bolter, which I've been forgetting. Yes. Oh, 60 man. points for those heavy bolters. <laughs> and he makes it. I'm going to sleep. And yeah, he'll go ahead and multi make that a multi charge. Okay. There. Uh, Trigon is multi charging the. Patriarch and the squad. Gotcha. 
gets to swing on both of those guys. Um, he is going to assault the basilisk. Okay. So two d six take the highest. Four shots, sixes. One hit. Yeah, large orc mobs are basically immune to my own. Wound. Do I want to do that? No. Heavy bolter. Thank you. Nice hits. Doesn't do it. Right. He is not multi charging. So he will hopefully kill that and then pipe one as well. <laughs> um, charge. Let's see. The Hormigons are going to charge. Yeah, Hormigons are going to charge first. Okay. Four, five. Carrying units and synapse, yeah, they auto pass. Two hits, one wound. No dice. And then they assault. You get two inches, which is just what they need. Yeah. All they needed. That's right, we're actually supposed to leave things three inches away if they're not imminent. It's just more than one inch away. No, I think it's three inches, right? So it's always that you always need uh, at least uh, it's just one inch. Doesn't double ones always fail the charge? I think double ones always fail the charge. <laughs> you got the rules? I don't remember seeing anything like that. I might be wrong. You just can't be moved within one inch. Uh huh. There's nothing about automatically failing the charge. Okay. You just move that number of inches. Okay. For the relative charges. Yep. And then the gene stealers. Okay, here's the real thing. Heroic intervention. After the enemy has charged, completed their complete charge moves, any of your characters within three inches of the enemy unit may perform a heroic intervention. Any that do can be moved up to three inches so long as they move closer to the. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was hoping I could count that as a charge, but it doesn't. It's just a move. Okay. <laughs> so, gene stealers are going to um, charge here and here, so you get overwatch from them. This is going to be a massacre. I'm half tempted to charge there too, but since it doesn't matter if you hit it. Oh, point six is um, toughest pull. Yes. Nothing. Nothing. And they salt eight inches. And they made it. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, no. you needed nine to get there. So I think I had two big problems. So I had about eight hundred points in artillery that did nothing. And then I had 270 points in gene stealers that are rolled, rolled at number one. Yeah. yeah. So I had over half my army basically not do anything. And then you played it well and you had your whole army actually guaranteed to do something. So I think if you're going to, I mean, I tried to do this thing where you had half and half, right? I had half of the gun line and half of, uh, of, of coming in. Yeah. I was thinking about playing shooting armies, right? Where you, you know, you've got some stuff for your backfield adjustments if it's progressive, and then they can. But one, this is an eternal war mission, and two, I don't think you can do that effectively. I think you need to go one or the other, maybe. Yeah, it's it's tough because it is kind of this weird, um, like points are decreased, but they're also increased. Mm -hmm. I think it'll just take a while for people to figure out what, mm -hmm. um, what. We're for shooting, you know, for shooting to be effective, you have to have a lot of it. So my gun line didn't do anything. So I'm gonna assault there. Oh, uh, okay. This is with the the flyer. Yeah. So there's oops. One hit six. That's cocked. Okay. So. 
can exit. Okay. Uh, he is going to assault the mages. Takes him out with his laser pistol. Mm -hmm. And he's assaulting the basilisk. Okay. So 2d6 take the highest. Four. Sixes. Oh. And the bottom. Yep. Alright, actually, he can't fire Overwatch against a Harpy King. Why not? Haven't they got some screen thing? Oh, yeah, you have to do that one last. Those two can't activate until everyone else is activated. Why it matters, they're dead anyway. <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, that might not be. But... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so basically, my, my entire army is in combat now. That's good. Turn two. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with the Hormiots first. Okay. We get two attacks each, and they get to pile in six inches. Oh, they get extra. Yeah. So, so inches just from Yeah, pile in all the way over here. Cool. How many are left? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 20 attacks. Now, okay. Are they hitting on threes? And... Hitting on fours. They're gods, they're not that good. Bad. And then wounding on fours. Oh, I get to re-roll ones. Oh, that's a pretty bad roll. Two wounds. Okay, out of all that. Five ups. Take two guys down. Okay, so I'm gonna use a command point. Uh, two command points to fight next. Ooh. Um, I guess I should have gone with Swami first. I'm hoping so, right? So, I think about this. So, he's got five wounds left? Uh, yeah, he's taken seven, so he's got five wounds. So, I could do. I shouldn't have gone with Gene Stu or Hormigas first as a throwaway combat. Duly noted. Learning. What uh, toughness is he now? How is he degraded? What's what's toughness stays at six. Okay. So what goes down? Just his move and his weapon skill? Move move attacks and strength. Okay. So I'm gonna attack with Patriarch, who's got six attacks. Attacking all on one in the scene. He on twos. They will hit. And if he's still toughness it's six, they're wounding on fours and sixes are that means. Uh, just one wound. I can reroll one of those, I guess. Is it even worth it? Harper, you killed the buffalo. <laughs> Showing off. You can't get him. So now I'm just going to stay there. So just one wound. Okay. Minus, minus what? Bots. You, you get four up. I guess. So nice. Four up and one. You really did chew the butt off a buffalo. That's impressive. Or she did. Sorry, no. Failed it. So how many wounds? So you're on eight wounds now. Well, how how much damage does? Oh yeah. Is it just one or is it D three or something? It's D three. Oh, in that case, I I've forgotten it was D three. I'm going to re-roll the other one if that's okay. Okay. So that wounds as well. That's it. That one. So D three wounds. Take a look at my point. Three wounds. Catalyst saves two of them. So take one. Jesus. Please don't take eight wounds. Hey, I shouldn't have charged him. I should have taken out the hill. I couldn't reach the thing. Okay. Um. Now, now you can't interrupt me anymore. Uh -huh. Stop interrupting me. 